Hey, hello everybody. I'm back again. I've been testing Ubuntu, Arch, <clears throat> OpenSUSE, and a couple other on the on the on the new hardware um, to see their performance and all that. Uh, I I do have. Let me see if I can show you. This was the only issue that I was getting on Arch. Uh, so basically, that's why it doesn't install. But if I try to install it on another drive that I have there's six here so two HDDs two SDDs and two NVMe on the N NVMe is when this happens uh, I'm using Arch installer just in case instead of the G disk or, or F disk one but when I'm trying to install it it fails so I'm still uh, figuring that one out this is Arch from March from this month but Let's get back to the point of the video, which is this. I've been seeing a lot, a lot of feedback about uh, people emailing me or through Telegram, sending me a message, hey, can you test Arch and, and all that. I did, I did test Arch. I didn't do a video for it because of work constraints, so let's put it like that. But I was able to do it, but I was not, and to be fair, I was not able to do it on the end, on the same NVMe that I was using Ubuntu. What, what I mean with that is I was able to, to format the NVMe, uh, partition the NVMe, which by the way, I, I, I mean, the Arch installer, I really like that option of setting the percentage of the drive. That was, that was very smart. That was very beautiful. So uh, kudos there. I, I, Ubuntu doesn't have that one. I mean, obviously Ubuntu is they install this graphical one. And it's easier and blah blah blah. But I, I, I love the the percentage one instead of sectors and stuff like that. Or like old school CHC, uh, you know, cylinders, heads, uh, S CHS. I mean, that you have to calculate the whole thing. Lord. <laughs> Um, okay, but coming back here, I, I've been seeing, well, can you benchmark uh, Arch uh, to see how it compares with Ubuntu, okay? I, I came back here to this page, to the Gravity Mark, because that was the whole point. I was going to do a video with CSGO. Um, I was going to do a video, well, a couple of, of games, like maybe five or six games. Uh, Cyberpunk, you know, Harry Potter. Uh, all those and but because of the failing I was like okay how can I make a video at least for now until I can actually make arch work on the it if you can help me out with this one sn 850x it's not the Western digital sn 850 on that one I can see that some people have had issues others actually made it working in an intuitive way like it, it, you, they, it didn't fail but with the SN850X, for some reason, well, and for some reason, only for now, only Arch fails. If I, if you try to install Fedora, it works. If you try to uh, install Gentoo, it works. Mint works. Ubuntu works. Which which other did I try to install? I'm missing somebody there. But I, I tried to install another one. They all worked. It just Arch didn't work. Um, anyway. So here we're in Gravity Market and we can see the performance of Linux systems. You can see the um, ranking here with a, with a new Ubuntu version. Okay, Ubuntu Lunar Lobster, the 2304. Somehow the damn thing actually jumped. Okay, so this is using Ubuntu 2210. And then it this is a big jump in graphical performance, okay? So the only difference, and let's click here so we can actually see it. Uh, you can see that I'm using the 5.5.85 version. Okay, this is a SOTAC. It's not an ASUS. It's not an M MSI. As people say that they're better than a SOTAC. It's not any of the ones. I'm I'm very let's say faithful to SOTAC. They're cheaper, and for me they they do their work. Okay, and they, they just they just work, but uh, that's the that's the one that I'm using here, and we're using this driver 525.85, 
if we go to the one down here, which was how I was using on on um on the 2210 before I updated to a 2304, it's the same driver you can see. So basically, just on the system update level, just by the distro updating itself, this is a super huge jump, okay, in performance. I mean. And I did. I was not able to test the games because I'm still I'm I'm providing um, QA in regards to the installer performance. There's several issues again. It's a beta, so they're testing a lot of things, but they're fixing them really fast. So that's that's cool. There's still a month. Let me see. Yeah, a full month ahead. So we're, we're fine. But you can see that other Windows users are here okay and they have again they have a 4090 obviously here's windows 10 uh here's windows 11 i, I think that's the last windows no uh here's another windows 10 one of my favorite cpus but um here's wow well you get my point okay this is to answer the question how's the performance because i've seen a lot of people say you, if you install the 4090 or actually any NVIDIA, they're very hateful in regards to NVIDIA. If you install any, any NVIDIA, it won't have the same performance as on Windows. Look at this, baby. Now, what the hell are you going to say? You got 4090 beating four other 4090s. And I don't know, if I go to the next page, here's another Windows, um, another Windows. And then from there on, it goes, you know, down. And you can see that it's your. There are some Windows users that actually tested this, and they fell under, and even the latest. And look at this. This is not your typical CPU. This is a monster. I mean, this is this is the other one that I'm, uh, I actually want to buy. Um, and they're ranking lower. So that excuse, or without base, of Linux not ranking at the same level with the same performance as Windows, that's old school, dude. That's that's gone. And I could say that since 2020, 2021, you can see the four Onyx benchmarks. You can you've seen a bunch of times how uh, well in the case of the four Onyx, Ubuntu has been beating, but that overall goes to all the distros. They have been beating Windows. And that the your your just Windows uh, 10, Windows 11 too. So in with the three last updates that I think they went to the news about um, Windows 11 basically making Windows 11 even heavier and laggier, then even more so that Linux is going to be beating them up uh, right there. So that's to clarify Linux, it is beating Windows at the GPU benchmark level. That's one. Now let's uh, try, I'm, I'm using single GPU because if you go to all modes, you can see that there's this ones that are using uh, two. Okay. Um, this guy has you know, a lot of money. And you can see that, let me see, 4090. Yeah, you can see a couple of 4090s here. Um, very powerful there. But if we go to single GPU, that's when I show somewhere in there. There I am. And now let's test only Linux. This is for the second question. Uh, some of the the questions that oh okay. Um, oh, lol. Um, some of the questions that I was getting was well, Arch has better performance than Ubuntu. I wouldn't know. I mean, they're saying that, but I wouldn't know. Because I haven't not tested on the same hardware with the same NVMe, which is why I want to be fair there. I don't want to put Arch on a SSD and it might drop, I don't know, one FPS or two FPS. I, I'm, maybe I'm exaggerating here, but I want to be completely fair. It has to be the same level of everything. So for me, I'm sure that whatever I see, I can actually say, yep, Arch is better than then Ubuntu, this version of Arch, or this um, update of Arch, or monthly of Arch is better than Ubuntu for this uh, specific version, or no, 
that are the same or no Ubuntu is better okay but I'm coming back here because guess what here's you know the latest Ubuntu's and the, the old ones and you can see that this member this member doesn't have a normal CPU or video card and they got 64 okay then let's go here another one based on on arch voila you can see it there i'm happy that they're doing these benchmarks so that when a new update comes to their specific distros they can actually benchmark and see especially see the flow or the impact of updates on the performance of the of the video card because otherwise we we actually don't have any way of um testing or benchmarking hey when i got that arch update before i was getting let's say 65 67 71 or something and now i'm getting less so by doing this whoever this was what he's promoting is making sure that when arch gets an update we can actually see if that update had any impact on the performance of the video card which is great or for this one far edo far edo uh, for Garuda, he, he's now able to benchmark if a new update will increase or decrease the GPU performance or the, the, in this benchmark. Okay, same for this one. Let me see Fedora. Fedora for real? Wow. Um, on Fedora, I, I, I did have some issues, but wow, this is the same thing that I have. Different motherboard, but yeah, same thing. But here you can see the performance. That's what I'm trying to say. Here's Ubuntu, 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 Ubuntu. The only difference is that the, the first, um, well, here you can see them. Um, the OpenGL on 2304 jumped quite a lot, like a, like a huge leap there. And the Vulcan, same thing. They, they both jumped around 2000 points or well here a little bit less but you get my point and this is all ubuntu if ubuntu sucked so much it would have shown i don't know somewhere down there additionally you can see how amd is running um i don't see i don't see the latest ones here i'm guessing because they were working for mesa 23 or 23.1 uh, which is it already came out so hopefully some people will start to oh never mind okay i see it there but um i was and there were us okay so you can you are able to start checking how the performance between uh this is the one that i was going to start testing um the performance of the distro with the video card are ranking against others that's why this video is so important because now we ha we're starting to see a clear way of checking out okay so currently this specific distro is um, working better let's put it like this with this video card or this video card is working generally better on linux than on windows and now you have multiple ways of um, uh, comparing yourself against okay so thank you to farido for testing Q was for testing and everybody else here that that's been testing because now we're able to fill out uh, uh, at least a way of truly benchmarking the GPU on Linux. Okay. Uh, and also to compare it between them. And I don't know who this guy was, but it would have been cool to, to say his name. So I hope this video helps you. Big hugs as, as always. I'm still benchmarking. That's why you, you don't see a lot of videos. I'm, I'm actually doing this video on the old computer. Um, and yeah, that's it. So think positive and big hugs to everybody. Bye.